to Janet's planet where we are traveling at the speed of thought. Come with me on an out of this world adventure journey. <laughs> Everybody, hey. <laughs> Isaac and I are just working on our Dear Pluto letters as we ride along with the New Horizon spacecraft. Wow. I know, isn't it an amazing piece of machinery? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that gold spacecraft. Wow. <laughs> Did you know that New Horizons is on its way to Pluto? Mm -hmm. And it's going to collect the first photographs of the dwarf planet that the Earthlings have ever seen. It's so exciting. We're going to see it up close and personal. And many scientists believe that Pluto's composition... Composition? Composition? What? A What's composition, that? big vocabulary word, which means just what it's made of. Oh. Most scientists believe that it's probably about 70% rock and 30% ice. Oh, well, mm. why don't we just go see for ourselves, Janet? Well, you know, right now, New Horizons hasn't gotten there, so nobody oh. really knows what it's going to look like. <gasps> but... We can power our think drives. Yeah, with the think drives. Yes, so we'll be pulling from all of our imaginations and uh, to help us get there. Yeah. All right. I, I I don't know if our ship can handle all of that thought power, but oh. uh, uh, well, are, I'm willing to give it a try. Oh, that's great. Are you guys willing? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Give me Let's this. Let me get my glasses off. Okay. All right. Prepare. Uh, okay. All right. Put your fingers on your templates, everyone. Woohoo. Okay. Think real hard about Pluto. Mm -hmm. And look already. Set. Go. I think so. And I have to tell you, that was some amazing thought power, you guys. Thanks, everybody. There's Pluto. There's Pluto. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Let's talk to him. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get the space brush. Oh, oh. yeah. We got to look good for Pluto. That's right. We got to make a good first impression. It'll be the first time we see him. All right. You looking Thanks, good? Janet. All right. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Let's oh. talk to him. Okay. I'm kind of excited and nervous. Here we go. Oh. Hi, Pluto. Oh, hi, Pluto. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Oh. Yeah, I should probably. Um, hey, uh, uh, hey, Pluto. Uh, I'm Janet, and this is Isaac. We're here from Janet's Planet, and we just wanted to say hi. Hi. How are you? Any? Is there anything we can do for you? Oh, oh, oh no! Everything is horribly awful out here. Um. Why? Why? Because I'm Pluto and I, I, I don't know who or what I am out here all by myself. It's very, very, very lonely and confusing. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. You know what? Isaac and I can certainly understand how it might be a little bit lonesome. You are 4.7 billion miles from the sun. <laughs> But we think you are awesome, and we are here to cheer you up. P-L-U-T-O, we think you are awesome. Yay! <laughs> I just want to know what I look like. What color am I? What am I made of? Am I even a planet? Those are all amazing questions. Great questions. And here in Imagination Space, we can imagine you any which way we want. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some theories that maybe perchance you're brown, or maybe a little reddish brown. Or yellow. Right, or white, or black, or um, puce, uh, maybe even blue. But I can tell you this, there are some amazing, dedicated people that have been working a really long time to answer all of your questions. And guess what? What? They are going to discover all those answers very soon. Really? How soon? 
Dude, New Horizons is on its way here right now to get your first real picture. Say cheese. <laughs> but until we see those first pictures, you could be made of pink cotton candy for all we know. <laughs> pink cotton candy. Or maybe maybe purple ice cream. <laughs> yeah, or blue gummy bears. Blue gummy bears or, or, or maybe cheese. Uh, just my luck. I'm stuck here in imagination space with question box and a photographer is coming and I don't know if I'm even a planet. They told me I was once, but then they decided I wasn't and no one even bothered to look at me up close before deciding. Yeah, Jenny, if no one's ever seen Pluto up close, how can they decide if he's not a planet? That doesn't seem fair at all. You know, Isaac, I think you're right. It doesn't seem really fair. In fact, Pluto, it wasn't fair at all. But would you mind helping us demonstrate something? I suppose. I'd like to hear this reason myself, actually. Well, here's how it all kind of happened. The International Astronomical Union got together in 2006, and they decided that they needed to come up with a definition for what makes a planet a planet. And they decided on these three rules. Rules of a planet. A planet has to be round. Yep, I'm round. Number two, a planet has to orbit the sun. I do that, I do that. And number three, a planet has to have enough mass to dominate the path in its orbit. Yeah. Why do that? Oh, oh I, I could do that if I really wanted to, you know. And Pluto, you trade places with Neptune every 248 years. Your orbit's a little eccentric, a little unpredictable, a little different. <laughs> but we like that here at Janet's Planet. Uh, but basically, that's why you didn't pass the third rule. Well, Neptune's my buddy. Plus, you try being out here and not be a little wobbly. Yeah! Oh, I, I totally agree with you guys, and uh, I believe our friend Alan Stern really agrees with you guys that even if Earth was that far away, we'd be wobbly too. So, uh, when New Horizons gets to do their closest flyby of you, Pluto, they're going to reveal more information than we have ever known about you. <laughs> Yeah, well, I hope the New Horizons mission to the real Pluto will show that he is a planet. Oh, yes, I do, too. That would be lovely. It's very emotionally devastating being demoted to a dwarf planet. I, I can only imagine. And uh, we are all hopeful that you will be reinstated as a full member of our solar system. <laughs> hey, and what do you think? Do you think Pluto is really a planet? Why don't you do this? Why don't you write your Dear Pluto letter? Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah, just tell us your thoughts and theories and join the conversation. And uh, as you can tell, Pluto could probably really use the encouragement. <laughs> Remember, let your mind revolve around this thought. The universe is always expanding. Let your mind do the same. And that's the view from Janet's planet.